All right, this is the insulation for the aquaponics system. We decided we're gonna try to insulate it. It's only five millimeters, but we'll see what it does, huh? The heater is working. In fact, we've had some really, really cold nights where ice was on the water of the chicken bowl out there. So like it's getting really cold, freezing, freezing at night. The pump that's for the heating of the aquaponics has been told via comments, it's not so good to have those diaphragm pumps above the water level. They actually don't work that well. This converter is taking the panel power coming in from the solar panel, converting that over to 12 volts. And that 12 volts is going down the line all the way to the aquaponics system. I'm going to switch out that pump with a submersible one that I'm going to put back at the tanks. All right, my two lines are ran. Here and here. So I'll have to mark one as AC and one as DC, and that should be good. There we go, I have it connected. We're going to see the temperature difference at the coil, and we're gonna see if we're losing any temperatures. The hot side here, uh, which you can feel, it is warm. This is the cold side. 62 degrees. So 62, make sure I grab our hot side here. And let's say 76 degrees. We've actually gone up, that's really good to know. So now there's another thing, these pipes. These are the grow pipes. You know, traveling 100 feet out in the weather with no insulation. So what we're gonna do is start on the insulation. Let's do one last temperature reading on the aquaponics system. The ideal situation would be the water coming out of the tank is colder than the water coming back in. That's the ideal situation. We have our inlet of our pipes, so this would be the water coming out of the tanks. So let's go ahead and get a measurement on that. Looks like we are 63 degrees, which is actually really warm for being out here, um, but we're, we have a pretty warm day today, so. This is the end of the pipe right next to it. <laughs> so this is after it's passed through the insulated tubing, and of course the hot water heaters also hopefully heated it. Uh, so let's go ahead and see. Ideally, this should be warmer, 64.4. Water leaves the tank and comes back a degree warmer. Uh, that is really good, um, especially for today. So as another confirmation, we can go ahead and take the water from the surface here. Something like that. So 64.5, which looks like that's the temperature of that. And we go in here, we can look at the temperature of the actual tank is 63.5. We are raising it one degree, having the insulation on here. The heater heats it up about a degree, and it doesn't lose that degree as it comes down and exits back into the tank, which is really good. Fish are still alive in there. Looks like it's working really, really good. If you would like to help us out, you can like this video, share it, subscribe, or support us on Patreon. See the links in the description.